So let's try building a small calculator. So let's navigate to our package and in our programs let's right click and let's create our first calculator. We uncheck this. Let's write a title my first calculator and it's gonna be an executable program and let's save so now we're ready to start writing some ABAP code so let's declare our, variab our variable to store the result it's gonna be type i for integer now let's uh, ask for the input values to the user in the screen so we're going to use the keyword parameters option one the type and it's going to be an integer we're going to ask two numbers to the user so we write again parameter now option two and it's going to be type integer also the keyword parameters is going to create an input field on the screen for the user to input some values so let's create two parameters the values are going to be stored on variable opt1 and variable opt2 now let's create four radio buttons on the screen so the user can select if he wants to add the numbers he wants to subtract the numbers if he wants to multiply the numbers or if he wants to divide the numbers uh, creating radio buttons in ABAP is really easy you just use the ABAP keyword uh, parameters and then add as radio button let me check that radio button group I'm sorry and then you specify a group for the first radio button it's gonna be group 1 I'm just gonna write grp1 that means group 1 I add another parameter this is gonna be the subtraction for the radio group also group 1 we want all the radio uh, buttons in the same group so that way we we can only select one option so parameters multiplication or just just write multiply add subtract radio button group 1 parameters divide radio button group 1 let's save our program now let's continue by now we're going to use the if ABAP statement we haven't talked talk yet about the if ABAP statement but we're just going to use it briefly in the next session um, section sorry I'm gonna explain more about the if statement so we're going to ask if the add parameter contains a value why do I ask if it is equal to x because if the user selects the addition button then the system assigns an x to my variable add the same happens if the system select if the user sorry selects the subtract option then the system assigns a letter x to my subtract variable 
So I'm gonna ask if the add parameter was checked or not. If it was checked, I'm going to add those numbers. So I'm going to add number two to number one. Option two to option one. If the user selected subtract, I'm going to do the same for the four operations. Then I'm going to subtract option two from option one. I'm going just I'm going to copy this four times and I'm going to change this to multiply then multiply option 2 by option 1 let's write it the other way around and let's divide option 2 by I'm sorry option 1 by option 2 finally let's write to the screen our result And remember we declare a variable result to store our result. In this case we don't need that variable because the system stores our result in the same variables we declare as parameters. So let's erase that. And for example, in the addition, we, we are adding option 2 to option 1. So option 1 stores the result in the subtraction. We're subtracting option 2 from option 1. So option 1 stays with the result. In the multiplication, we multiply option 1 by option 2. So option 1 stores that result. And in the division, we divide option 1 by option 2. So option 1 stores the result. So let's write option 1 because option 1 is storing all of our re results. Let's say, let's check the syntax of our program. and the system is presenting us an error uh, there's a problem with our declaration for the parameters keyword let's use the ABAP documentation to check what's wrong with our parameter so I look at the documentation by selecting the word parameters and pressing F1 and I can see if, if there's anything wrong with my declaration. I go to screen options and radio button, radio button group. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong. Let's take a look at it one more time. Oh, I see the error is with this. I sorry, I'm missing a character here. So I check my syntax and I activate my program again now I'm ready to run and test my calculator so I run my program and as you can see the parameters for the numbers creates two input fields and the radio buttons you can only select one so let's 
add two not let's try with two ten and five. Remember we're just working with whole numbers because we just declare integers. So let's try using numbers that give us uh, whole numbers as a result. So for example, 10 and 5. Let's add those numbers. We execute. It's 15. Let's subtract those numbers. It's 5. Let's multiply those two numbers. It's 50. And let's divide those two numbers. It's 2. That is our first calculator.